We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everybody. Good evening. Thank you for having me. I will be presenting about the Milky Way. But let me do a short introduction first. My name is Rahadian Rafli Zulkarnay. I am from from Tencent 4 and my attendance number is 24. And I will be beginning the presentation. I hope the audience pay attention to my presentation. Okay. Okay, the Milky Way. Yes, the Milky Way that we see in the sky is part of a galaxy or a collection of stars, gas, dust, and other materials. Galaxies are held together by gravity, much the same way that our solar system is held together by the sun's gravity. The Milky Way is our galaxy, where our solar system is located, but the solar system is just a tiny piece of the galaxy. The Milky Way's name came from the Greek goddess named Hera, which in the Greek mythology is the goddess of woman, marriage, family, and childbirth. The Greeks believe that the goddess has piled milk across the sky, and hence the name Milky Way. The Milky Way is estimated to be 13.6 billion years old. Also, the Milky Way is very enormous, at least 100,000 light years in diameter. A light year is over like can travel in one year. Nearly 6 trillion miles in addition, the Milky Way has at least 200 billion stars and probably at least 100 billion planets in it but nearly all of the information we know regarding the Milky Way are just an estimation given from NASA and astronomers okay next is the part of the Milky Way there are many parts in the Milky Way in the center is the bulk or galactic uh, sorry our galactic core this is a round bump in the center of the galaxy, about 10,000 light years across. Then slaying pocket with stars and other materials. Scientists believe that at the very center of the Milky Way is a giant black hole. The galaxy center is the brightest part of the galaxy. Next is the Sagittarius arm. It is generally thought to be a middle spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy. A spiral arm is a long, diffuse, curvy streamer of stars that radiates from the galactic center. These gigantic structures are often composed of billions of stars and thousands of gas clouds. And then there is normal arm, which is a minor spiral arm of the Milky Way. Extending from and around its center hub region. In the next part is 3 TPC arm. It was found to be expanding away from the center of the Milky Way at more than 5 km 50 sorry 50 km per second. This spiral arm contains about 10 million solar mesh of gas mostly hydrogen atoms and molecules along with the near 3 kpc arm there is also the 5 kpc arm it is one of milky way spiral arm and it is located in the first galactic quadrant at a distance of 3 kpc about 10,000 light years from the galactic center There is also the Scutum Centaurus arm, also known as Scutum Crux arm, which is a long diffuse curving streamer of stars, gas, and dust 
that spiral outward from the proximate end of uh, end of the Milky Way central bar. Alongside with it, there is also the precious arm. It is one of the major spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy. The precious arm begin from the distal end of the long Milky Way center bar previously thought to be 13,000 light years away. It is now 36,400 years from the solar system. Last, there is the Orion arm. It is a minor spiral arm of the Milky Way around 3,500 light years across and approximately 10,000 light years in length. Contain the solar system including the Earth. It is also referred to by its full name, the Orion Sickness Arm, as well as Local Arm, Orion Bridge, and formerly the Local Spore and Orion Spore. Okay, that is the uh, end of my presentation about the Milky Way. Pardon me if there are false and inaccurate words in my presentation. I am Rahadir Rafli Zulkarnain from class 10 Sam 4 and my attendance number is 24. That's all for me. Thank you and see you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We don't talk anymore.